Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here. Hopefully your favorite official content creator for the first Ascendant. And here's what we're doing. Today, I'm actually going to show you guys the build needed to beat the Devourer. Who is the Devourer? He is the boss after the Dead Bride. And he has a very annoying mechanic that some people just aren't used to. He's easy to beat once you know the mechanic. The mechanic is much easier than the Dead Brides. But beating it for the first time can be daunting simply because he regenerates so fast. Now... I'm going to go into everything like we did before. We're going to go over the build, his stats, you know, what you need, all that kind of stuff. But before we do that, let me just say one thing. If you haven't already registered me as your favorite content creator, do so with the links in the description of the video. It is absolutely free to do so. And I'm trying to gather as many supporters as I can. Why do I need supporters? I don't really mind about the money. What I really want is that if I have enough supporters, I can at least go to Nexon and say, hey, you know, I've got this many supporters. Can we please do something about the pain system? Because I really, really want the pain system to be revamped, both for you guys and for Nexon as well. I believe I can make them more money while creating a way, way better system for you guys that it's not going to be as costly for your wallets. All right. It may not make sense, but it will. I already have a plan. All right. So thank you if you decide to register as one of my supporters. Now, let's get into the information. Here we go. First and foremost, what you need to understand is that with the first, with, bleh, with the first Senate, with the Devourer, Okay, the Devourer has certain stats. The Devourer is extremely weak against electrical attacks, so the electric attribute, and it is of the toxic attribute, so all of its attacks are going to be toxic. Therefore, you're going to need at least 1,800 toxic resistance. I recommend having way more than that. So, what do you actually need, okay, in order to beat the Devourer? Now you understand his stats, what is it that you actually need to defeat him? Okay. Let's start by going over the build so that you know what to bring to beat him down. Okay. Now, when it comes to the build, once again, you're seeing my Lepic. I actually beat him on stream and recorded the footage of the fight on stream using my Panda Lepic. All right. So we, you can use any descendant. You don't need Lepic, obviously, but Lepic is just my starter descendant. And he's just the easiest for me to use in these battles. Now, in terms of the reactor, obviously, you should choose a reactor that... Uh, you know helps with your skills uh, i was using this one which works together with a beam rifle and it was boosting a lot of my skill damage so i could take down his generators with lepix ultimate especially once overclocked now in terms of your external components what you're going to need are external components that have defense defense the de uh defense in the substat there and defense all right go for defense as much as possible why the more defense you have the more likely you are to survive if you don't go for defense you are going to have a bad time i know my camera is blocking this but i think you can literally see it is a defense support sensor right there okay so defense for all your external components as much as you can stack uh after defense stack max shields all right but defense is your first priority now let's go over to the weapons Oh, sorry, let's go over to the Descendant. Once again, we're going to use the Void Intercept build, and you guys might recognize this Void Intercept build from before. Okay? Um, try to have your melee weapon maxed out. Defense, of course, as high as possible. I really recommend having it at Enhancement Level 8. Increase hit points and shield do not have to be at these levels. They can actually be up to two ranks lower than what is displayed here, because you won't actually need it. All you need is defense, polygenic antibody, and toxic antibody. Toxic antibody is extremely crucial. It needs to be at least rank 7. I highly recommend rank 7. Nothing below that. Okay, nothing below rank 7. This will allow you to survive a lot of his poison nonsense, which will then in turn allow you to run around the map, especially when he's aggroed on you. You just want to run around so that you can draw his fire, your teammates can fire freely. Whoever he's aggroed on just has to run. The rest of the teammates take their time shooting. Once he aggroes on you, you run and your teammates shoot. Simple process, all right? That's how you beat the Devourer. He's a very straightforward boss to beat, and you'll see this in the combat section of the video. Okay, now that we've gone over what you need in terms of the Descendants, as you can see, I really don't have much here because a lot of it's not necessary. Okay, we're going to go over to the weapons. Now, for your weapons, once again, I'm just going to show you the build that I threw on. Um, this is a beam rifle, and what you really need, what you really need is electric enhancement now i highly recommend rank seven if you do not have it at rank seven you might struggle a little bit rank seven is ideal all right rifling reinforcement as high as you can go and then everything else that you can shove into this is perfectly fine okay 
as you can see, I have not used any capacitors on any of these. I haven't uh, done any crystallization on any of these. I'm showing you guys how to beat this as somebody who's new to the game. Just come in, you know, just go straight forward in, all right? But do register as my supporter and get a panda skin, okay? It's totally, totally worth it. Now, for my uh, Silly Weeper, this one, oh, I love this gun. It is one of the most powerful. Once again, rank 7. Do you see that I always have the electric enhancement at rank 7? It might sound a bit strange, but rank 7 gives you about 20.1% of your total firearm attack as electric damage. This ups your DPS by an insane amount, allowing you to reach incredible heights when trying to damage your enemies. This gives you a lot of viability in the field and allows you to take down the, de uh, the de Devourer real fast. I forgot his name for a second. I was going to call him the Devastator. So realistically, you need as much... It, the Devourer's fight is literally quite... quite in all senses, it is a DPS check, okay? Fumbling my words here because I'm doing this in one take, but I, I like to do authentic videos anyway. Um, it is a DPS check. It is very much a DPS check. So you need to make sure that your DPS is up to that level. Then last but not least, what I actually used was the Guardian R4 launcher because this is one of the few that I could actually get to a high enough level of DPS to matter. Um, usually I would use all of Lepic's ultimate and then I'd shoot one launcher around and that'll be enough to bring down his generator, all right? So this is what I've got for it. I do not have the electric enhancement for this, but I just stacked as much damage as I could and focused a little bit on reload speed and swapping to the weapon. That's uh, basically what I did. And that helped me up the DPS enough to matter in that fight. So this is the build that you will need to actually fight the boss. Now, what I'm going to do is there'll be a little video cut because I actually filmed the fight in well live on stream. All right, so we'll have a little video cut and then you guys will get to see the fight. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if this information is helpful. All right, I hope it is beneficial to you guys. I hope you guys can take down the Devourer. Y'all have fun and I'm going to see you guys on the next one, okay? Y'all have a good one. Catch you later. Oh, and enjoy the fight. Enjoy the fight. Okay. All right, chat, trying to record this for the third time on stream because we had two overpowered glaze, two times in a row, two different players, absolutely annihilating this probably because they're farming something. But I'm trying to show like a more normalized match so I can teach you guys how to beat the Devourer under normal circumstances. So I'm here with Kaz and Death Dawning going into the fight for the third time. Here we go. All right, who do we have? It's a Freyna. Okay, this might be all right. Now, even if we have the possibility of losing, at least it might be all right. So here we go. Proper fight this time. Now say it ain't so, I will not go. Just turn the lights out and carry me home, all right? Let's go. Now the Devourer himself is not very de deadly or dangerous, all right? He, well, he will aggro on somebody, all right? And what, you, and what that somebody has to do is start running. Okay, so pa he doesn't like the Panda Man. I'm an endangered species. Please stop stalking me. Okay. Hey, endangered over here. My zoo's gonna hear about this. All right. My zoo's oh, gonna hear about Yeah, Potter. My zoo's gonna hear about this. All right. Um. So after you are done role playing Harry Potter with this guy, what you do is you just keep hitting his bits. All right. That's what she said. Lol. For the beam rifle, you might want to target his kneecaps. All right, give him a little bit of a kneecapper. Now, when when you see these roly polies on the ground, beam them as well. They don't deserve to exist. Now, the main thing is that he's got a special mechanic where he will heal. All right, once he gets to a certain level of uh, weakness. So you need to prevent him from doing that. Oh, lag. Okay, there we go. It restored itself. Hope that guy doesn't disconnect. I'll be so sad if he does. Okay, so he's almost in rage right now. Not quite there yet, but he's getting there. He's getting a little angry. Yep, he ain't fully angry yet. But as you can see, he's taking a lot of damage. So y'all might think, oh, he, he's got low stuff. Nah, he'll regenerate. Oh, he's on the panda again. Panda in danger. Ow, panda. Panda in danger. Panda down. Panda down. Oh my god, so much poison everywhere. Leave the panda alone. Uncle Panda in danger. Okay. Now, he's gonna summon three generators just like that. Alright? What you need to do is you need to blast these. Everybody needs to blast one and take responsibility for it. Alright. Yeah, there you go. One down over here. So then, it will slow down his healing. Alright? 
And oh no, Panda still taking so much damage. Okay, there we go. Last one down. All right, if you manage to if you manage to reduce his health enough, then it won't really matter. Then you want to take out whatever rifle works. Uh, of course, electric damage like before. And then Revenge of the Panda. All right. Yellow arm. Yep, going in. Revenge of the Panda right now. Mm, no arm for you, bro. Yeah, I told you my zoo's gonna hear about this. All right, there you go. There you go. So now you just finish him off. Like I said, his hit points and shield aren't as large as Dead Bride, so you don't really have to sweat him very much. But the big problem for this guy is mainly the fact that you're dealing with his regeneration. If you can't deal with that fast enough, it's a bit of a DPS check. Then his mechanic is just dangerous, straight up, you know? So when dealing with his kneecaps, go full Symmetra. Okay, ooh, yellow, yellow bit. I'm going in. Panda. Panda, panda, panda. Mm. I'm hanging on for dear life. All right. Yeah, Kung Fu Panda. All right. That's right. He was not prepared for the whooshy finger. Not the whooshy finger hole. Does not sound good. The whooshy finger? It's from Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, it's Kung Fu Panda. I have never seen Kung Fu Panda. Oh, we gotta watch Kung Fu Panda. Oh, it's got Jack Black. Yeah. It is. Yeah. She loves Jack Black. I do love Jack Black. All right. One of, one of these days, we watch Kung Fu Panda. Oh no. Panda. Okay, Panda kneecapped him. Now look at him malfunctioning and losing all his health like a nerd. Okay, and there he goes. There's the devourer right there. Good job, guys. Now that was a real fair fight. So as long as you are good enough and can handle it, you know, you'll be all good. Just figure out the... My odds of getting this goddamn blueprint all over again will be. I don't know. But either way, ladies and gents, for those who watch this video later, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, if you haven't registered me as your favorite content creator yet, please do. All right, so that I can keep making more guides for you. I want to be the top five. I want to be in the top five creators of this game. So use the link in the description, yeah. register. Thank you to all of our top supporters on stream. Thank you to all of our top channel members. And we'll see you all on the next one. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.